Welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming. Day 9 of RPG A Day's question is, other than the game itself, what do you need to add to a game to make it ideal? Now this is a difficult question for me because I tend to see everything surrounding the game as part of the game, whether it's snacks, setting, music, people, and so on. I tend to sort of see that as part and parcel of the gaming experience. But let's break it down and assume that the game is just what's written on the pages in front of the games master and what's on the character sheets. That is the game. Anything else is... Well, peripheral, I guess. What of that do I think is necessary to make a gaming session ideal? Well, for me, it all comes down to the people. I love playing at conventions, I love playing with people I've never played with before, but would I want to play a campaign with people I've never played with before? In this stage of my life, in my role-playing career, I would say no. My preference is actually to play with people that I know, that I trust, whose boundaries and limits I know. In LARPing circles, they have something called veils and boundaries. The different groups refer to it as different things. But in short, it's knowing what lines you're allowed to cross, which buttons you're allowed to push, what the limits are for the group. Such limitations, knowing your group that well, is a very important facet of role-playing, because especially when you're running horror games like I often do, you need to know what ground you can tread on, what's going to be enjoyable. This doesn't just extend to horror, this also extends to genre in general, because you don't want to run a sci-fi game for a group that despises sci-fi. This can lead to problems. A GM may really want to run Star Trek, the role-playing game, but if the players all hate Star Trek, you're going to have some conflict and therefore need to find some middle ground. You need to work out, is it worth pursuing a game I'm not interested in just to play with the people I like? Or should I find a different group? And that all comes down to the people, which again, I think is the ideal component for any session. Obviously, you need people to roleplay, but the right people make the session ideal. So for me, and that's not to say I preclude roleplaying with people I don't know. As I say, I play with conventions, I play online with people I don't know quite often, and that's all fine. But I suppose I like to get a feel for what those people are after in the game. What is their objective? What is their goal by playing in one of my games? Do they want their character to achieve a certain aim? Knowing all of this is what makes a game session ideal because it means the GM can actually cater the game to the players. And if you cater the game to the players, everyone's more likely to have a good time. Every character receives a certain degree of focus. The GM can appreciate what they're doing because they're actually getting to interact with every single player at the table. So that's the answer to the question, for me anyway. I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are. What makes an ideal session for you?